It's not like this with other people. Why can't we go back to how it was? It can't be like this. How did everything change so quickly? I don't understand. It can't be like this. It's not like this. I don't understand. Why can't we go back to how it was? How did everything change so quickly? Was it me? This is Izzy, and I am the voice that no matter how hard they try, they can't seem to drown out. Izzy is a queer, non-binary artist, somewhere between 20 and 60 years old, fluffy brown hair, ghostly white, hazel eyes, slim build, and around five foot seven. They haven't showered or brushed their teeth in days or changed pyjamas for over a week. Currently, they are heartbroken. Some things about Izzy. They're kind, sensitive, loyal to a fault, trustworthy. They bite their nerves when no one is looking. They have a lot of baggage, insecure, unlovable, Annoying, overshare, unimportant, imposter, failed, needy, anxious, depressed, scared, lonely, weak. Okay, enough, enough. For the love of God, enough. Look, nobody needs to hear this, okay? Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. No need to get emotional. Maybe you should just calm down. Oh, you can take your car and shove it. Calm breaths. You could always try meditating instead. Maybe some exercise. Exercise. I just haven't had any motivation. My body feels like it's betraying me. I'm sluggish, heavy, tired. I feel like I've had weights attached to my feet and I'm being pulled under a heavy current. I, I feel like I'm drowning. Bargaining came initially, 
and it was extreme and it was um, panic. Bargaining came out of panic. And then... And then slide into the quagmire that was depression. And I found myself not looking after my mental or physical state. I found myself going through emotions and each time I had to go home I found myself slipping further into that depressive slide. You know, if I was drowning in forehand, then, then I suppose the depression was me being fully submerged <coughs> with no way out. And then every now and then my head would pop up and I would just be angry. I really have, I have a really big problem with anger. Um, and then I was angry at myself, the feeling. The way that I did being so stupid. It, it comes out physically. I clench my jaw and my teeth, and my shoulders get quite tight. And um, but it was just this hot, Not depression necessarily, but feelings in that kind of area, you know, just sadness, just... If I'm really, really angry, um, I shake slightly. Again, blame. I wanted to blame the person. I wanted to blame the situation. Yeah. And then I wanted to destroy them sometimes in my mind. Just heaviness. It's a real heaviness. The gravity of how I was at that moment had hit me and suddenly was slipping a little bit. But I can't forget the anger, the smallness of feeling. No, I'm not angry, I'm fine. That is my motto. It's fine, I'm fine. Um, and it's fine. Um, but words that we're not listening to, but the pain and suffering just hit me in that one moment. Sometimes 
from that love, the anger, the sadness, the grief, the pain, it, it doesn't just leave. It's sort of like it's get, it gets grounded away and it becomes sand on your shore. It's still there, but you walk along it without feeling the sharpness. It's become a part of your history. We accept that it happened and you can't change it. Sometimes you just have to accept that it's over. Even if you don't want it to.